Hey Taurus, Island Turtle here. Welcome to Balmy Spirit. This is going to be the monthly general reading for Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter. Now, Taurus, by the way, there's going to be a part two over on Patreon. You can also find it on Vimeo. Links are below for your convenience. <sighs> Taurus, I don't know why I kept forgetting to do your reading. I, I remember seeing a comment maybe like a week ago and I was like, all right, well, I'm not quite to Taurus yet. Like, you know, reminding me to do the Taurus reading. And then yesterday I was like, I think I did the Taurus reading and I was so sure I did it. And so I somehow skipped you guys. I am so sorry. Um, so we're doing a reading now and I was getting in your energy and I don't know if this is gonna pertain to the reading itself or if this is just something that someone needs to hear or a group of you need to hear. <sighs> it's not like the most fun thing, but Taurus, some of you guys are dealing with someone, I feel like it's gotta be one person that is no bueno. Okay, um, I feel like they may have some attachments or they could be very vampiric, um, like energetically vampiric. I just, I feel this like, oh, I don't want to say it, like, like a, like kind of energy <laughs> around you. And I feel like you could be having like some funky thoughts, maybe thoughts that aren't even really yours, that maybe you're just feeling this person's energy and you're picking up on their stuff and it's influencing your, your mental health um yeah because honestly I keep getting this like you're good and then you're not you're good and then you're not and then like you're feeling like yourself and then suddenly you might be feeling really insecure or doubting yourself I was getting that too like to be very um I don't want to say this what are the right words to say this you're good <laughs> you're good Taurus you're doing good you're doing fine, you're doing all right, things are gonna be okay. Um, some of you really need to hear that because I just keep getting these very like intrusive thoughts. Now, could this be all you? Of course, it doesn't have to be because you're dealing with an energy or a person that maybe you're better off not dealing with, but some of you that's the case. And then when I was looking at the decks, these two wanted to come out. The Isis Oracle and the Ancestors Oracle. Uh, spirit, uh, answer, excuse me, Ancestor Spirit Oracle cards, and then even these guys wanted to come out. I don't work with this one too often. All of them are listed below, but um, when these come out, it, it's, it's a little serious. Like, not like in terms of like dangerous, that's like so dramatic. I mean, like, there's some very serious messages that want to come forward, some very firm messages, and when these two come out, it I do always get like very strong ancestral like channeling, like ancestral conversations want to happen. Um, and you could even like resonate with Isis as well. I mean, obviously the Isis Oracle, I usually get Isis, but I also get other deities too with Isis. Just very strong messages like to come out of that deck. So let's see what's going on. <laughs> okay, let's see what's going on with you. Um, I'm actually gonna start with Isis. I usually like to build up to Isis. But Isis wants to go first, so we're just going to roll with it, okay? They are showing me a lot of green already. Are you conflicted? Again, I keep getting, like, I think these are more intrusive thoughts and energies that are affecting you. And it's weird that I kept forgetting you. Like, that doesn't normally happen. I don't know. Taurus, I think there's something weird going on. Just saying, for anybody who needs to hear this. Any messages or insights for Taurus, Sun, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter? I feel like I must have some new people watching because I feel like I just got a question of should I be watching this? <laughs> um, so I, I had a video on this. I don't know if I still have it linked below. Maybe I do, maybe I don't. I probably should do like a, a new updated video for that. But when you're watching tarot readings, you know, if you're trying to like follow the signs anyway versus just following, following your intuition, I would always base it off of your rising first, and then your moon, and then your sun, and then the other planets. If you have a stellium, always watch your stellium. Uh, you could also look at like Vedic and Sidereal as well. Um, normally it's just gonna be the sign preceding that. But if you're a cusper and tropic, I would definitely look at both anyway, regardless of whatever astrology you firmly believe in. I, I speak to Western astrology here, but I study other, uh, excuse me, Shaman Berks, but I also study other astrological disciplines as well. Okay. Um, yeah. I just heard Capricorn really loud. Maybe you got Capricorn placements. Uh, yeah, that answers your question. Moving on. 
Moving on. Any messages or insights for Taurus? I am getting strong moon energy. Some of you guys could be a Taurus moon. Some of you could have a Cancer in your chart. Some of you could really have... Oh, well, it's funny we didn't hear Capricorn, right? Some of you, this full moon might have been a lot for you. But they're, they're, tell, they're, they're, talking, they're talking about the moon. Talking about the moon. That feels very emotional to me. Feels very feminine. Feels very watery. Taurus, Taurus, Taurus. Some of you guys could feel like you need to be around water. And if that's the case, be around water. If that's what you feel, do it. Why does this feel like initiation vibes? Serpent of fire, priestess of the serpent sisterhood. Definitely coming into your own personal empowerment. Um, this is very sacral related. She's got the snake. This is also associated with carnelian, sekhmet. Um, strong sekhmet energy off of that, actually. Very strong sekhmet energy. And then we have high priestess, mystery, mysteries revealed in the eyes of Isis. I'm also hearing temple. Now, if any of you have this deck, I'm thinking, I'm thinking the Temple of Carnelian is, might come out. Um, if any of you have this, words, if any of you have this deck, I would definitely follow the meditation for the Temple of Carnelian card because I'm just feeling it so strongly. Carnelian could be a really important card for you as well. There's just so much feminine, moon, Venusian, sacral energy coming up for you right now, Taurus, in this reading. There's a reason you need to sit here is also what I'm hearing. There's a reason. There's a reason you need to sit in that place within yourself. Even if you're even if you're masculine, right? This is an energy of really feeling yourself, okay? And feeling very um, in tune with your teeth, so to speak. Uh, very in tune with your ability to uh, protect yourself to cause change and like sure you can say destructive i just think we have such a negative connotation of destructive uh, the word destructive destructive is not a negative you need to be destructive in order to create sometimes right um something some kind of truth is being revealed to you i feel uh, yeah i feel like this is about what i was picking up on before I feel like I, I I feel like we don't have the right words for this because it's like yes it's sitting in your power yes it's being able to stand up for yourself yes it's being able being able to protect yourself but also to like like a display of power is kind of how this is feeling to me so that energies around you like know what they're dealing with like know what they're messing with even if it's just someone's attachments God it's a crazy reading. But with this card, I, I do feel like there's there's truth that's trying to come forward, like the unveiling of almost like a Seven of Swords energy. Again, like something that you're not totally seeing about your environment or the people that you're dealing with. It's tr like it, trying to come forward, trying to come forward, trying to come forward. I keep hearing Carnelian. Carnelian, Black Tourmaline are coming up as well. These could be really good crystals for you right now to just even channel, even if you don't have them. Ooh, Eye of Horus, oh, Taurus, Awakening Divine Perception. I feel like you're about to see like way clearer beyond people's masks and illusions and veils, like even more so. Maybe you already identify with being able to do that. It's getting more blatantly clear for you, especially when you get into this, like get really into that seat of power. And I keep getting it's the sacral. It's the sacral. It's the sacral. I would re really work with Sekhmet if you already resonate with Sekhmet. Um, but yeah, that's what I'm getting with this. I don't want to use the word enemies. That sounds so dramatic. But yeah, like real, like literally seeing um, your enemies a lot clearer too. Understanding what it means to sit in your throne, which is to sit in your power, which really is just to stay in, in like a certain vibration, right? That's all it is. Um, I keep getting so you don't get infiltrated. Don't get distracted either. Please don't get distracted by people's bullshit. Um, be aware of gaslighting. I keep getting this about your personal power. Yeah, be aware of gaslighting. Be aware of gaslighting. Let people tell them themselves. Let people show you who they are, like that sort of thing. Yeah, mm-hmm. Overall energy, we have Pyramid of Light. Step your vibration deeper into love. This card comes out when it's time to get your field stronger. <laughs> yeah, Taurus, this is like coming through so clear. 
you got some shady shit around you, whether you realize it or not. Even if like you kind of feel it, you're not fully 100% seeing it. Even if you're sensing it and feeling it, Spirit is saying, really sit in your throne, really sit in your power, get your field strong. Um, so it's like, I keep getting so you're not infiltrated, so you're not affected. Pyramid of Light, this is also a great meditation as well um, behind this card. This is a great deck, by the way, just saying to add to your collection if you don't have it. Um, again, linked below. But the Pyramid of Light is actually something that I do practice really regularly for myself. So um, it's basically creating a Pyramid of Light around you, but literally like incinerating. <laughs> like anything that has gotten into your field that does not belong there and then programming it to keep things out. It really just helps to keep your field really strong and feeling good and also your you and your energy feeling really good. Uh, some of you could benefit also from regular cleansings. Getting environment, like where you sleep, where you work, if you work, you know, if you work at your home, um, where you eat, like where you like to dwell and put your defenses down, really cleanse those spaces. Even if it's like physically cleaning or reorganizing, like shift the energy around and like do that very regularly is something that's coming through pretty strongly. Okay. Okay. Let's see what this, what the, what they want to say. Let's see what they want to say. <laughs> Any of you who are looking for more of like a like 3D, like physical dimension, like sort of reading, like what's happening at work, what's happening in my love life, we'll get there. But th this, this clearly needs to come out. This message clearly needs to come out. Actually, this might be a part. This might be one of those group readings that I was doing for like, like I think I did it for two signs. So this group is more of like the mystic group, okay? But I think anybody could benefit from just being aware of how to keep their energy field contained, maintained, sustained. Any other, ooh, that was very fast. Nice. Get into nature. I like that card. It's like a very simple card. Coexistence, gather, limit ways. This is basically just saying get grounded. Get grounded, get in tune with the natural order of how things go. This card also comes out when it's an indication to like start to get connected like to yourself and nature and all these things so that you can actually read energy better. Because there is a flow to things. There's an ebb and a flow. There's there's always a cycle to how energy works, no matter how it's manifesting around you, right? Whether that's in the plants and they, you know, they seed and they sprout and they bloom and they die, right? It's like there are there's a natural order to everything. I'm actually hearing divine law. Some of you might really benefit from learning about hermeticism, um, hermetic principles. I'm, yeah, I'm actually getting like a Page of Pentacles kind of a study energy off of this, actually. Yeah, I feel like this is raising your awareness to the natural order. I keep getting the natural order, divine order, divine law. And that also coincides with this as well, right? The more we see, the more we feel, the more like information, like spiritually speaking, we have access to, the more that we have this understanding of how things really have a divine order. I mean, it's, it's a very circular message, but you understand what I'm saying. But get into nature. Resources. I just heard resources. Taurus, you do rule resources to some extent. You are the second house. Um, <laughs> there's something about that with you feeling secure. I mean, that kind of makes sense, um, especially if your Taurus actually is second house, which means you might be an Aries rising, or maybe you're an Aries rising in Vedic, right? And Taurus rising in Western. But anyway, coming back, um, yeah, I am getting a strong pull to resources, like making sure that you're reevaluating what you actually need versus what you want. And Taurus, I know you like to want. I know, earthy Venusian person, I get it. Um, but maybe reevaluating that a little bit so that you have actually more security, like not just financial security. I mean, like, like you feel more secure, just generally speaking in your existence and how you're existing, but there might be something about your external reality and how you're living that could facilitate that even better. Okay. I'm not saying make more money. I'm not saying that I'm saying reevaluate how you use your resources and where they're going 
right? To maybe get a better seat of confidence and internal security. Anyway, anything else for my Torians? Whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> Cards are flying. Go after your goals. Okay. Uh, persist, encourage, advance. Yeah, okay. They're bringing back to the resources again. Getting a little bit more reevaluated on how, again, what your resources are, where they're going, how you're utilizing them can secure your seat of security. And again, I feel like that's way more about just you feeling more emotionally secure. Tauruses, especially like if you're like a Taurus moon or something, you tend to feel more emotionally secure when your physical reality is like locked in. Like, Everything's good, finances are good, home is looking good, everything feels comfortable, so emotionally I can feel comfortable. Like that's very Torian. Um, but once you do that, it's like you can actually give yourself more leeway to kind of, to do the things that you wanna do with go after your goals. Um, God, I keep getting this like, I keep getting this funky energy around you and I don't like it, I don't. Um, I feel like for, yeah, for those where that resonates, it's been affecting your energy. It's been affecting your energy, your emotions, your mind. And again, it could even be your own attachment. It doesn't have to be another person. But for those of you who are in that group, a good chunk of you, it is a person. All right. Even if they're not physically around you, they're affecting you energetically. So that could just be like, you know, someone you talk to every once in a while. It could be a family member. It could be a family member. But anyway, there's things that you want to do. There's amb you have ambitions here. <laughs> you have ambitions and you might have felt a little cloudy on how it all looks, you know, like how to the long game, if you will. Full Moon Capricorn has probably been helping you with this to gain the clarity there. And then also <clears throat> getting your energy field in check, getting your resources in check will also help you to be more clear on this. Again, being able to intuitively be sharper, and see through the bullshit of other people. And that's gonna give you the space you need to get into that energy, okay? You understand what I'm saying? So it's like, get your resources right, get your internal world right, get your seat of power and comfort and being in your throne right by really working on your energy field, your environment, and you'll start to move and groove a little bit better, okay? Woo! <laughs> yep, re-energize your life. It's exactly what I was talking about. Clear, <laughs> positive space, harmony. This card is exactly how it sounds. It's reorder and recalibrate your environment, your external world, your internal world, so that you can actually bring some new life to it, some new vitality. So you can actually like do things that you haven't been able to do or have felt kind of bogged down to do. You understand what I'm saying? So this is like Overall, this is saying refresh in yourself and your life and your environment and make sure that you're very solid and secure and grounded and your field is good. That's basically what we're looking at here. Let's see if anything else wants to come out. Clean up one more. Hmm. Remember what I was saying about water, overall energy? Connect to water with nature spirits. <laughs> Some of y'all need to get in the water. Some of y'all need to get in the water or take like um, spiritual baths, but water seems very significant for you right now, okay? I feel like it's just also gonna be very cleansing and rejuvenating, but we did have another card come out. We had be, we had, we have be an open channel. Mediumship, ancestor spirits. I feel like this is coming through to just say, hey, We've been talking to you, we're here, we're present with you. If you feel like you are a channel or a medium, then by all means that the card applies here. But I think this is really more of a vacation of like, we're trying to help you, <clears throat> please listen. <laughs> we're trying to help you, please listen. We're trying to help you, please listen. We're trying to help you, please listen. Especially when it comes to that more infiltrating energy. Again, that could even be an attachment that you personally have, okay? But I feel like that's why that card is here. Mm. All right. Um, they want me to use this deck. This one is, gets a little bit more specific. I'm going to save this for part two um, for this spiritual portion reading. All right. So let's move into the non-mystic reading. <laughs> I'm going to do a timestamp here. Um, oh, I want to use this actually. Hold on a second. Give me a minute. <laughs> 
Alright. It's a five. Okay. Can you read my own handwriting for a second? All right, my non-mystics, my non-mystic reading. Let's go ahead and see what is up for you guys. Energy Oracle is calling me. I just rearranged my desk, so I'm like, where is everything? Uh, here it is. Okay. Uh, getting a masculine energy. <sighs> getting a, This little curl has been driving me crazy. I When I did my protective hair styling, I like missed it somehow. <laughs> anyway. <sighs> So, I, I oh, fine, okay, fine. They want me to use another deck, hold on. Because I was getting the father card in this deck. This is the Dreams of Gaia Tarot. Yeah, getting very strong masculine energy here. All right, from a non mystic Torians. From my non mystic Torians. And again, obviously you can watch both, like, right? It's like we, you know, even mystics, we're mystics, but we're still human, right? We still have to deal with everyday life and everyday stuff. I can't get away from this masculine energy. It's like, it's so like, woo, it's just so prominent. Is this you? I don't really feel so confident about it being you. It feels like authority. Like, that's what it feels like. It feels like this is an energy of emperor masculine patriarch father authority is the biggest one coming through like authority 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 like an energy that doesn't let up yeah that's how this energy feels like an energy that's like super like i am here and i am not going away <laughs> oh okay <laughs> all right any messages or insights from my non-mystic torians interesting wow king of water King of Cups. That is not what I expected to come out because what I feel is very authoritative and King of Cups can be authoritative, but they're the King of Water, right? So it's like, you know, I've been seeing the King of Water a little differently recently. I feel like my view of each card has really expanded, but I've been seeing the King of Water as, yes, the King of Emotions, the King of Intuition, and the King of the Underworld is also what I've been seeing it as, like very Odin-like. But anyway, um, <clears throat> This is an energy that's very emotionally mature. They don't, and you know, the King of Water, I think sometimes gets misinterpreted as, oh, they're very sensitive in the way they're hard on their sleeve. They don't really. It's like, they're very in tune with their emotions, which means they know how to flow with them without being overwhelmed by them or dominated by them. That's a King of Water. But yeah, sure, they have an open heart and they're sitting in their heart and they can be compassionate. <laughs> I don't want to say this. <laughs> they can be compassionate, but that's, they're, they're still a king, right? They still got to make a lot of decisions, but yeah, sure. They have a larger capacity for empathy and compassion. This is actually Scorpio. This is your one seven. It's funny because you have all this push too from the first reading of getting connected to water. Some of you, this is somebody in your reality and it's like, they're, they're showing you something that I think you would actually benefit from embodying yourself. It's like, you would really benefit Taurus from getting into this energy, from embodying more of your inner Scorpio, your inner water. And for some of you that's manifesting externally, okay? In another person. That's how energy works. That's how energy works. Yeah, I'm getting strong like sea god, <laughs> like energy, energy from this, from this person. Okay, okay. Anything else from my Taurians? Any other messages or insights from my non-mystic Torians here? Yeah, you're learning to embody the King of Water energy for yourself. You're learning to be more... How do I want to say this? You're learning to, to pay more attention to your feelings. You're learning to pay more attention to like what evokes certain emotions within you, but you're not letting it control you, right? It's like you're just becoming more aware. 
more and even more psychic and we already got that in the first reading too like more intuitive even but you're you're, you're honoring your emotions more taurus you're honoring your emotions more but some of you this is someone you're dealing with for sure okay oh <laughs> wow masculine feminine this is basically like the uh the page of wands in this deck it speaks to the balance of masculine feminine so yeah it's like Taurus, I feel like you're moving into more harmony in your internal world. And the more you do that, I feel like you're getting a lot more, um, a lot stronger and more capable of like holding on to your power, holding on to your energy, containing your energy. It feels really good. Um, I also feel like there's a deeper intention now behind what it is that you're doing. I think you're very intentional. Tauruses are very intentional, but it's deeper now. It's deeper now because you're letting yourself acknowledge more of your feelings and letting that be a factor without being dominated or controlled by it it's really nice i really like this for you i like it a lot now if this is an energy you're experiencing outside of yourself which you could resonate with both um this is somebody who knows what they want they're very intentional and yeah <laughs> uh they know what they're they know what they want and they they're gonna go for it they're gonna go for what it is they want but they're deeper, but whoever this is, they're deeper within themselves than they were previously. So like I said, I feel like this is you, but this could also be someone that you know outside of yourself as well. Okay. And then you're also, you can also be learning from that energy as well. Moving on. Any other messages? Woo. Okay. Ooh. This energy has been coming up a lot for the collective. Five of swords. Five of swords, five of swords, five of swords. Put it like need, needing to put the mask down, needing to get out of victim mode. Um, I And again, remember what I was getting in the first reading of like infiltration? Don't get distracted by these energies. Don't get distracted by these energies. I think you're also feeling these energies more, sensing these energies more, especially if you're moving deeper into a king of water because you are becoming more energetically, psychically, and emotionally sensitive to yourself and to other people. But yeah, this to me feels like people who can't really hide their wounds as much anymore and so people are fe everyone's fe everyone's feeling people who can't hide their shit anymore basically none of us can hide our shit anymore at this point but that that feels like that feels like distortion reaching out that's what that feels like to me this feels like distortion reaching out and distracting pulling trying to engage trying to lower your frequency whether they realize it or not i mean i think a lot of people are very unconscious about that that that's how energy plays work i think a lot of people are walking around just like doing the best that they can you know and everyone has some wounds or trauma at some point in time and they deal with it or they don't deal with it and people who aren't dealing with it get into this like distorted way of being with other people and i that's this is what i think you're picking up on this is what i think you're being aware of now again more superficially you're trying to do you you're trying to stay your course you are becoming more sensitive but you're also you're also dealing with somebody who's in a five of swords energy around you and you could have also been dealing with being in your own five of swords energy and needing to recognize where you need to get deeper than yourself to move past things, but being in the king of water does that. So you understand what I'm saying? Ugh. Anything else for my non-mystic Torians? Wow. Mm -hmm. Look at that. Five of cups in reverse. Two fives. Change, freedom, liberation. But the five of swords and then the five of cups in reverse. Again, this is really needing to acknowledge what hurt feelings drive our triggers and our distorted behavior with other people you've been seeing this within yourself but you're also definitely observing how this is coming up in your reality and the people around you and you deal with that according to how you want but these energies and it's it's not i really want to be very clear about this i'm not judging these energies we've all been here right we've all been here but people who are here they need to do their own work. They need to heal. They can't pull on you and mess with your energy, right? Because they're not dealing with them, their own stuff, right? That just can't stand unless you let it stand. But you're seeing this. You're seeing this in your reality. Strong victim. Strong victim energy there. 
Anything else for Taurus? <laughs> Ooh, this, every time the scribe comes out, I, I like it gives me chills a little bit because this is a gatekeeper. It's the Knight of Swords. It's Gemini energy. Uh, the scribe, you know what the scribe means, right? But it's like, this is someone who's a gatekeeper of truth. And there's some of this energy that is very much like, the gatekeeper of truth is here. It's like, that's a big job, right? That's a big job. But that's the energy behind the scribe. Like, yes, there's your truth and there's my truth, but then there's the truth, right? Here are the facts of things that have happened Here's your perception. Here's your perception. Well, here's how it actually played out, regardless of your perceptions. Here, here's how the energy played out. That's the scribe. It's this like almost judgment of truth in a way. I feel like this is on your side of the fence. Hold on a second. Like, I feel like this is this is on your side here with the King of Cups and the Page of Wands. Now, if you don't resonate with this energy, if this is somebody outside of you, it's somebody outside of you. Um, with this deeper awareness of divine truth, with this deeper awareness of how you feel, it's it's also holding to the truth, uh, the, tr the truth behind all of that. Like, it's holding stronger to why you feel the way you feel about certain things or why certain things make you like why certain things trigger you um it's also this understanding of there is my truth and there's their truth and then there's what's actually happening right there's a, yeah it's this deep deep awareness of just again how things work how things function energy plays so it's definitely tying into the first spread here um but the scribe could also be Somebody who's being very honest, which I think you are in this King of Cups and Page of Wands energy. I think you are being very honest about when you've been in this energy and then overcoming that. Or you're being very honest towards people who are in that. And you're like, boundaries. You're like, look, here's where I'm at. Here's what I'm seeing. And that's just, and it is what it is, right? So very, very honest card coming out there on your side of the fence with the King of Cups. Okay. Ooh. This could also, for some of you, again, if you're dealing with the King of Cups outside of yourself, because um, this is divulgence of truth, and with the King of Cups and Page of Wands, it's also divulgence of desires and emotions, like feelings. Um, even feelings towards people, like, hey, I feel this kind of way about you, right? Could even be some of that, but it's, it's on, it's truth. It's just, it's raw truth. And then on this energy, we've got the sage. Sage is kind of like the hermit. They're like a, they're a mage. They're, you know, a seeker of divine truth, a holder of divine truth. So actually very scribe-like in a way. But it's the hermit seeing the light about the five of swords and the five of cups energy, right? Um, the truth about this, again, within yourself or in people that you're dealing with and how you want to get here you want to embody this energy or you want to be dealing with people who are like this and calling a spade a spade, right? Yeah, th this energy outside of you cannot infiltrate your field. Just don't let it. See it for what it is. See it for what it is and call it what it is. And act accordingly so you can maintain your energy in this. Now, if you're dealing with somebody who's in more of this energy, they may be calling you out, Taurus. They may be calling you out. Now, remember what I said earlier about beware of gaslighting? This energy wouldn't gaslight, but every, you know, everyone's in a very particular situation. We're all having 8 billion different experiences right on this planet. If you know you're being gaslit, then, you know, obviously don't deal with them and then acknowledge, oh, you're really just coming from that place. You're not coming from this place, right? So practice your discernment here. But at the end of the day, you moving into this King of Water, Page of Wands energy is what's going to be the, the golden ticket, so to speak, for you to stay on track. All right. On the bottom, 
We've got choice in reverse. Oh my God, and there it is. I knew I felt it. I knew I felt that authoritative, aggressive energy. And there it is. The father in reverse is literally that. It's basically the emperor in reverse. It's a very like authoritative, aggressive, distorted masculine energy with the choice in reverse. So like, yeah, that's exactly what I thought. So again, if you're dealing with somebody who's been infiltrating your energy, gaslighting you, this is totally an energy that would do that, okay? And with choice in reverse, they could be trying to divert you, distract you. They're also just acting a fool. Ugh, if that's them. Now, Taurus, if this is you, I don't think it is. But if it is you, time to be accountable and time to embody your king of water energy. Time to embody more of your emotions instead of just black and white um, distorted masculine energy. Okay, but I I've, honestly, though, for I, I, I really feel that this is an energy that's outside of you that you're dealing with or you're trying to remove yourself from. Now, some of you, this could be somebody who might not even be physically in your like environment, but it could be like a family member or a friend or someone that you have been dealing with on and off or someone who's just stuck with you energetically that, sh that you need to move on from or detach from, okay? Yikes. That's exactly what I felt. All right, let me go into part two. Again, you can find it on Patreon and Vimeo, and I'm going to clarify both readings, so it's going to be kind of a long one, um, but yeah, good luck, Taurus. I hope you found this reading helpful and insightful, and I will see you on the other side, and if you're leaving us here, thank you again for hanging out. Don't forget to check out the website, social media, and all that stuff linked below, and I'll see you soon. Take care, Taurus.